So what are the Egyptian top priorities in the relations with the European Union? We have a very strategic and strong uh, relationship and a partnership with the European Union. And uh, the priorities is we are focusing on projects that will help achieve sustainable and inclusive economic growth. Uh, we are after jobs, that's, that's critical, especially for youth and women. Hence, our priority areas is improving the business environment, uh, promoting investments, uh, supporting the development of small and medium enterprises, uh, financial inclusion, especially for women-headed households, uh, and uh, overall uh, women's economic empowerment. Okay, and Egypt is uh, very active in the cross-border cooperation program. So, what are your expectations for the second phase of the program? Uh, indeed, Egypt is a strategic uh, country and uh, our negotiation for the second phase is that I think our share should be uh, larger for three main reasons. First reason is by population, we're, we're more than 92 million. Uh, and that's a, quite a large population that requires a lot of support and uh, one thing that I'm highlighting in my negotiation is that we are very keen on preventing illegal immigrants, we're very keen on, on providing the right jobs for young people in Egypt. Uh, we're also be believers in that creating jobs for young people would prevent them from uh, going into any f uh, fanatic or extremism, which is a challenge, especially now that we're, we're discussing this issue today, especially with the sad bombing in the churches that, uh, that uh, our family members have encountered a few hours ago. So we think the empowerment of young people and uh, helping them contribute positively is key, and hence Egypt should, should take a larger share in that account. Another uh, reason is that Egypt is, is currently launching a very comprehensive an inclusive economic reform program that is supported by IMF, by the World Bank, by the African Development Bank, and we want to make sure that the EU is a partner in this very successful and bold reforms. Uh, so in that context, we believe that in the second phase, that's an area that we're very keen on, on uh, reaping more benefits and getting uh, more uh, knowledge and twinning arrangements with our colleagues and friends from the EU. Thank you very much.